like like the mayor said, I am the new administrator. I've been in the job for about a week now, so I've got a lot to learn. But I look forward to working with you all. Thank you, Mayor Lombardi, for welcoming us to North Providence to celebrate the progress being made to remove and contain contaminated soil and sediment here at the Centerdale Manor Restoration Project Superfund site. I also extend EPA's gratitude to Mayor Pulisina uh, of Johnston for his continued strong support of the cleanup. Both communities and their leaders have been great partners to EPA during our efforts to address contamination here. Also, we have today with us Chris Albert from Senator Reed's office and Karen Bradbury from Senator Whitehouse's office, also Justin Sharon from Congressman Langevin's office, and Annie Pease from Congressman Cicilline's office. Thank you for being here. I also want to acknowledge Alicia Lear, Director of Winnesquatucket River Watershed Council, for her work providing input to EPA on the cleanup plan, and for the Council's focus on creating additional recreational opportunities for residents of North Providence and Johnson along the Winnicostocket River. Finally, I offer my thanks to Director Janet Coit and her team at Rydum. Where are you, Janet? Oh, you're right behind me. Thank you. Who continue to be a terrific partner to EPA both as we work on this site and across the state to ensure a cleaner and healthier environment for Rhode Islanders. Right here where we are standing at the source area of the Centerdale Manor Restoration Project Superfund site there used to be a chemical manufacturing and drum reconditioning operation as we heard about from the mayor. Like at any many old industrial sites, contamination was left behind from the industrial process. Chemicals were di dumped directly onto the ground and released into the river. Over time, dioxin and other contaminants from the source area of the site have entered the river and contaminated sediments and soils in the ponds and streams and adjacent floodplains extending from the source area down to Lyman Mill Dam. EPA and our partners at Rydum have a long history of working together to address contamination at this site and to ensure we are protecting the health of local residents as, we, as well as protecting the surrounding environment from further contamination. Making progress in Superfund sites is a priority goal for EPA and this administration. Under Administrator Andrew Wheeler's leadership, EPA is focused on improving the Superfund process. In 2017, EPA created a Superfund task force to identify ways to expedite cleanups and promote revitalization of contaminated properties. The task force produced reports with recommendations and goals to reflect EPA's goals when it comes to Superfund. Back in December of 2017, EPA announced a list of 21 Superfund sites targeted for immediate and intense attention by EPA. There are 123 Superfund sites in Region 1, and out of those, only Centerdale Manor and one other New England site were added to the Administrator's Special Emphasis list. We believe that placing Centerdale Manor on the Special Emphasis list was a catalyst for the actions and momentum now being celebrated here. With the help of the administrator's office, our regional team convened a meeting with the company and all sides pledged to work hard toward a mutual agreement that would get the chosen cleanup done sooner while providing reasonable financial certainty for the company. In April of 2018, EPA, the Department of Justice, the State of Rhode Island, and Stanley Black & Decker reached an agreement and a consent decree was subsequently lodged and entered by the court, which, res which resolved litigation and clears the way for ongoing work to clean up at the C Centerdale Manor site. As of today, the task force formal work is now complete. We are happy to be here in North Providence to celebrate its success and recognize that our work will continue to see the cleanup to its completion. The settlement agreement, valued at an estimated $100 million, was good news for citizens who wanted to see work get underway to address contamination. And it was good news for taxpayers because Stanley Black & Decker will reimburse all future EPA and state oversight costs in addition to funding the immediate cleanup costs. With litigation behind us, the $100 million remedy is well underway and substantial progress is evident. 
This includes cleanup work in a one and a half mile stretch of the, of the river and in abutting residential and commercial properties along the river. It includes capping the contamination right here at the Centerdale Manor and Brookville Village Apartments. As you can see, we've already started construction and we expect this work to be completed by the end of 2020. The design of the Allendale Pond remedy has also begun and as part of that design, investigations will take place of floodplain soils in and around the pond. It is also worth noting that Stanley Black & Decker's contractor, Loriano Engineering, is a New England-based company. This cleanup construction project here in North Providence and Johnson is creating good, well-paying local jobs right here in Rhode Island. While the work to conduct the cleanup is underway, we will ensure the opportunity for public comment during this work. We anticipate that construction of all aspects of the cleanup will take about five to six years. Keep in mind, we will be phasing the cleanup by moving downstream, starting here at the source area. It's clear that a lot of work has, been happened, has happened over the last few years, and significant progress has been made and actually launched the cleanup here at the Centerdale site. We are truly excited to celebrate the increased pace being accomplished at cleanup sites across New England, and especially here in Rhode Island at Centerdale Manor. We are very pleased with the success of the Superfund Task Force, and we are proud to join our colleagues around the country as they announce the completion of the task force and its final report. For nearly 40 years, the Superfund program has been the centerpiece of EPA's cleanup programs that provide a safety net for communities located near contaminated sites. From emergency Superfund removals and long-term cleanup at the nation's worst sites to the brownfield programs, role in economic revitalization. Thousands of communities across the U.S. Have, have and continue to benefit from this work. The important work of improving the Superfund program will continue after the completion of the work of the task force. Moving forward, EPA will continue to implement and sustain our achievements and track and report on our progress with a new set of performance measures. Stay committed to listening to more opportunities and approaches that can be incorporated into the Superfund program that will improve performance and effectiveness, conduct a strategic and comprehensive portfolio review of every site remaining on the national priority list, and to enable EPA to better use the task force's tools and lessons learned in advancing cleanups across the country, and continue to prioritize expediting cleanups to protect people's health and the environment. We are committed to continuing to work to improve the work of the Superfund program to realize the promise that remediating sites hold for revitalizing communities across the country. Thank you again, Mayor Lombardi, Mayor Polisena, and the citizens of North Providence and Johnston who have come out today to celebrate these achievements with EPA and the EPA staff who have worked diligently with this project for years. Thanks to a very successful partnership with our colleagues from Rydum, we are very excited about the progress being made here at Centerdale Manor and we look forward to working closely with you to see this job to completion. Thank you.